Hey, where do you think all this plaster ends up? I have no idea. The material recovery facility is the heart of our recycling operations. It is where pickup trucks, debris boxes, and trailers go to dump their loads for sorting and recycling. This 95,000 square foot facility opened in 1996 at a cost of $9.6 million. It is designed primarily to recover materials from construction and demolition activity gypsum, concrete, wood, green waste, and dirt that are dumped by commercial trucks onto the tip floor. To make the process easier for the public, we also allow them to dump their loads here. As well as recovering building materials, we also salvage reusable goods and take them to the last chance mercantile to sell to the public. It's a very simple concept, but not one that you often see at other disposal sites. More than 700 tons of reusable items are salvaged at the material recovery facility each year. Mattresses are diverted to a separate area of the material recovery facility. The district receives approximately 190 tons of mattresses each year, which are sold to a private recycler. We also divert appliances and tires. Source separated truckloads are segregated into areas for each of the material types. But mixed loads can't be immediately separated out or salvaged on the tip floor, and so these are loaded onto a conveyor belt to flow through two sort rooms. Here, staff recover around 1,000 pounds of additional materials like wood, metal, and concrete every hour. Even the dirt is sifted out and used to cover the landfill at the end of the day. Garden waste from residential green bins and commercial operators is dumped in the yard outside the material recovery facility to be ground into mulch and sent into the composting area. Scrap wood that has been separated is ground up into wood chips for use in landscaping. These are 100% recycled and available by the truckload. In early 2017, an $18 million improvement project will begin construction in the material recovery facility, which will be complete by year end. The installation of more modern and automated sorting equipment will provide more recycling options and also allow us to bring commercial trash trucks into the facility to sort the residual recyclable materials out of those loads. We expect to be able to increase the current 50% recycling rate for loads entering the material recovery facility up to 75%, one of the highest material recovery percentages in the industry. This will allow us to ensure that district member agencies achieve the state's 75% diversion goal by 2020. The facility will also support local construction industry compliance with the 65% recycling requirement defined in the Cal Green Building Code that begins January 1, 2017. The new improved material recovery facility will expand the types of materials we are able to recycle and greatly enhance our mission of turning waste into a resource.